It is a beautiful day to ride. Oh, we're like in the 70s and I'm out on the street bike today, full on street today because it is awesome. Oh yeah, I love the power, love the power. Today is a fucking awesome. Uh, I gotta get in trouble. Oh, I'm gonna get in trouble, so much trouble. I always do that to my buddies. But anyhow, yeah. So, it is a uh, lovely day out, as I've been saying, and it's a great day to be around and ride. Um, there's a deer in there. Look at him wandering around. That means there's others. You gotta watch out the sly little devils. Like to jump out in front of you and play peekaboo. Almost had to kick one one day. It came up right beside me, right beside me. And I was probably from where I am to the side of the road that darted back into the damn uh, woods and I uh, scared the living shit out of me, no doubt. But that was that was scary. Always gotta watch those little bastards. They may be cute, but they're cynical. But anyway, it is a fucking lovely day. I will dry hump my tank because it is just that awesome. Makes me horny out here. Just being able to drive around in the streets all clear like and such. All right, maybe that was a little over the top. But hey, you know what? I am excited to be out today in just a, you know, sweatshirt. I'm, I'm like not even color coordinated with the bike, which is odd for me. You know, why, you know, want to look good when you're on the bike. Not that that really matters, but I am happy to be out on it, whatever. And just ride. Man, you know, it is so much fun to ride. Uh, I believe I was, uh, CJ, who's a subscriber of mine, who does a pretty good vlog, photo vlogs, uh, CJ photo vlogs, I believe it is. He was talking about why he rides, and uh, I thought it was pretty cool what he was talking about because it is something that I've been always into motorsports. I never was into real He was in baseball, I was never in baseball. The reason why I talk about him more than anything because uh, a lot of the guys say stuff, and uh, he's the closest person to me. He's about 45 minutes away from where I live. Uh, I never met the guy, but I'm just saying in general, we're pretty close. And man, I'll tell you, it is a lot of uh, interesting stuff he was talking about. Because, I mean, honestly, I was off-road. That's what I did, quads. And it was tough to get out in the trails. And what he was saying when he didn't have a bike for a while, he was, you know, kind of down. And uh, just like when he couldn't do what he wanted to do, it really brings you down. Especially when all you're doing is working. There was a point in time that's all I was doing. And, I don't know, I became, like, miserable. I mean, I, for the most part, I worked. And I worked and I worked, and I don't work as many hours as I used to. When I actually, when I was in high school, I worked a ton of hours. We were talking 50 hours a week on a certain weeks because I was on a work co-op program. I don't think I was supposed to work that much, but I did anyways. Whatever, I made bank, but that's besides the point. Just you know, I only had one day of the off the week. It, it really didn't. I didn't really. I was very you know not outspoken, so I never really talked to anybody or uh, you know did anything with anybody. Got together, so I never really had much time and people said I disappeared for a while and that's true I really did it was just you know go home go to school go to work or just go to work and come home that was all I did and I, I may have tooled around on the quad here and there but I really never went anywhere but I got rid of my ATVs one time because I wasn't right nobody would go out we didn't have any time I had done it so much we've been to the trails and it just became mundane you get into this weird you know situation and then I got a motorcycle Something I've always wanted. I actually was thinking about how can I register a quad, and that became like almost impossible. Uh, you can do it some places around here. It is not a real, uh, I want to say, plausible thing to do. Uh, maybe in some areas, you're just not here. <laughs> yeah, you probably get stopped even if you did get it done, just off the presence that you have a quad on the street, and they have no idea how you did it. Yeah, but so I wouldn't really consider it to be anything that would be. Uh, suitable to do. So I got a motorcycle despite a lot of people protesting me doing it. And I know the dangers. It's dangerous out here no matter how you look at it but I mean what we used to do with the quads really wasn't much better. But um, 
I know you gotta learn to always look out for the other guy, pay attention to what you're doing and all that fun stuff, but man, I tell you, you can't be getting out here riding, especially because I'm a gearhead. I've always been, uh, I was never like the motor guy, but I always loved it. Anyway, it's like, I couldn't recite you that knowing what the taillights of that car went to, you know, like, you know, some people can do that. I'm, you know, they see a car, they know exactly what year it is and what it came with for parts, you know, uh, matched uh, motors, oh, it came with this this year. I was never that kind of guy. I just loved this stuff. You know, I got into it. I loved riding. It's mainly, if you give, I, I would ride a lawnmower as a kid just because I could drive it around. Yeah, I shit you not. And that's what I was. I loved motors. So when I got on the motorcycles, which I have my fucking blinker on, when I got into motorcycles, it became a big, big, uh, thing for me. I, I, would, I just, I would just ride all the time, just like this. And I would do this with the quads too. It's just it's very kind of sucky when you have nowhere to go. I mean, uh, I can ride around town all day long and then go further if I like or whatever. I go to the beach all the time. Uh, and I'll, I have many different hobbies. I get distracted, you could say, with my hobbies. I'll go from bike to uh, car to other things and, uh, you know, just in hobbies wise, I do that. I'm like very ADD maybe you can say. But uh, I love to do many different things all, uh, all the time. You know, I switch off and it keeps me going. And uh, motorcycle has always been something I've always, and motorsports, you could say, has been something I've always went to. And by golly, it was a lot of fun. We had so much good times. <laughs> uh, damn it, I can't even think of a time when I didn't have something uh, motorized. I mean, that I was tinkering with or doing something with or modifying or doing something stupid with. I mean, even when I didn't have a quad, I still had something. I still had something all the time. Like, it was my car or something, something else. I swear I just passed that guy like not that long ago. Ooh, yellow line it. Oh, it's so weird getting off the, D, uh, the WR onto this baby. But it's still good. Yeah, you know, you just you sit there and you know you think about all the stupid stuff you did in the younger years, and you know the money you spent on stuff, and you're gonna think about, oh man, I could have had this if I didn't. But you know what? Damn it, screw all that. You know, I saved some money for other things, you know, but that wasn't killing myself. But I don't regret buying some of the stupid shit I've had over the years, even when they didn't work out that well. It's just because it was fun. It was just stupid fun. Medusa here, which I love her. She is my baby right here. Uh, she is the first year it came out. I don't know if I explained that again before, but she is the first year that came out FZ8, and uh, I never looked back after bought it. You can tell me about the FZ09. I'm not as thrilled with the looks of it, but I do know performance-wise she's supposed to be better. But uh, yeah, there is really no top in this. She goes fast and she goes good. Uh, no problems whatsoever. And I just can't, I can't deny how great she feels. Even just in the seat, I mean, it's a weird, it's a different seating position than a dirt bike, but it still feels natural for me. And it keeps my uh, hands low, which I like. Uh, some people don't like that. This, this is my way I like to ride. But. Uh, I mean, hell, I drive hours and hours and hours up to my Washington every year on this baby. Uh, and never, never have I regretted it or wanted to get rid of her after the ride. And she is just beautiful. Uh, uh, the only thing that I had that was probably more comfortable than this was the KLR because it has like a couch for a seat. She is my baby here. And I have her set up with, uh, you know, a GPS and everything so I can just go anywhere, wherever I want. And she just takes me there. And no trouble getting back. I just love her and she is, I think, a keeper. I can't get rid of her. Every time I think about something else uh, I want, I don't want to get rid of her because she is just that awesome for me. She's a low slung bike. 
but she's got clearance so I can jump over things like if I need to I wouldn't say curb so much but if there's a anything in the road I don't have to worry about clubbing it off the back of the, the bottom of the headers really just go she'll go over it I've been off-roading with her yes I have not really off off-road but I've been to areas where it was dirt roads that just be hammered out just go and it's a she's it's strange but she does it I mean, I've actually been in a trail with her once. Don't ask why. Don't ask. I, don't, I can't explain why I did it. It was one of the, we were doing Harley Davidson uh, hill climbs at my buddy's house. And I go, all right, I'll take the FC8 up it. I did it, and then she made it, and she did not disappoint. But, uh, yeah, she, she's a great bike, and I love her. And she, I'm going to keep her till uh, the end, I think, if I can help it. But anyway, guys, I have a ton of fun, and this day is beautiful. But I am actually going to go home and switch helmets because I don't have a camera set up on my other helmet. And I tried it; it didn't work out very well, so I got to redo it. Uh, not, I need to actually get an old microphone set. So I am gonna head back, even though I've been this way already. I'm gonna head home, get a new helmet, and just ride around the rest of this beautiful day. And uh, hopefully, you guys will join me out this day, this beautiful Monday. And uh, see this later on. And go fuck yeah! I was out that day. I was out riding. I was out having a blast. Maybe you passed me. I don't know. I have no idea who you people are. We're gonna have some fun. See you guys out the road.